Welcome, I'm here with from Bridget Motors Ford with the brand new all-electric e-transit and I'm here to do a lovely tour of the vehicle with you. Probably the best thing about this vehicle is it is still a transit, but it is now the e-transit. So you've got the stylish honeychrome grille that Ford are, are, are renowned for in their vehicles. You've got the blue trim, which sort of indicates to everyone on the road that you are driving an EV vehicle. And also, obviously you've got the grille, but you've still got um, blocked up cases. Obviously, there is some form of ventilation needed for the radiator and those sort of things, but not what you would envisage you needing for um, an engine itself. Uh, under the Ford sign, we've got the uh, front camera system, which is part of the 360 that the vehicle has on this particular model. Um, and then, of course, the most important bit, how to charge your vehicle. So the capability of the charger uh, on a rapid charge is 15 to 80 percent in 34 minutes. So I don't know about yourselves, if you ever need to pull over and have a drink, there's plenty of time there to be able to charge your vehicle back up. Moving on, so you've still got the um, fantastic features the vehicle's got. So you've got the radar cruise, all the nice enhanced safety features the vehicle would have. As you would imagine, it is Ford's flagship electric vehicle. So of course you're gonna get those uh, in the commercial world. Front parking sensors still as well. So they're still um, a part of the vehicle. So you get front and rear as standard, along with the black bumper trims. Moving on here, so you've got the halogen styled headlights. AEDs are an option, obviously that might sort of adjust your charge in some form of way, um, but AEDs obviously are an option if you wanted to. Moving on to the vehicle at the top here, we've then got the integrated stalks uh, just there for you, followed by the 360 side camera, so it goes all the way around for you and sort of indicates where the vehicle um, is sort of being reversed or parked into. Ford has stayed with the wheel trims on the Transit model, so you can, of course, upgrade if you wanted to. Stylish bumper trim still, it's obviously very unique in the, in, the, in the Transit world in general, so Ford has still kept that with the e-Transit, so everyone's aware what you're driving. And then you've got the curbside loading bay just here. So then you've got ample space to be able to drive a pallet in. You've got the wet floor anti-slip to be able to clean the, the van down inside. And then this vehicle has been ply lined on the sides here. Obviously you can do sort of start of racking or anything you want to do. As we carry on down to the rear of the vehicle, uh, some nice features, you've got the halogen lights just down here for you. Sort of very, uh, e -tra sorry, very transit styled uh, on the back. Making sure everyone's aware, so you are driving an electric vehicle. So you've got the blue dash under the e-transit bit here. One of the, probably the coolest features that Ford have launched in the last six months would be the interior mirror. Uh, so as you can imagine with the van, you won't be able to see behind, uh, but this vehicle actually is fitted with the interior mirror option and it gives you a real life view of what's behind you. Moving on, we've got the rear camera, which is situated part of the 360 with the uh, added LED light for loading. You then got the two barn doors on the back to show the loading bay, which sort of demonstrates again how much space the e-transit can, can deliver as well as a normal transit. Uh, the one nice thing, so although it's a full EV vehicle, it can still carry a load the same as a normal transit. So the maximum on this particular model is 1750. So that's obviously quite a bit of weight that you might need to do in a normal van. So they're not compromising on the electric. Uh, we're still able to do what a van needs to do. So that's the outside and low capacity sorted. Let's see what you're going to be driving. So before I start the vehicle up, I think the first thing we've got to say is obviously how comfortable and how normal the seats feel. Obviously we're sat in an EV, um, but it's not an uncomfortable vehicle. We've got a nice armrest. You've got some lumber control on the sides here. Uh, you've got the normal features that you would see in a car. Uh, so we've got the leather steering wheel, the one thing that Ford do tend to do, they make everything user friendly. Uh, so the spacious inside, uh, the new touchscreen, which is obviously 12 inches now, that's sort of a really nice sort of layout. It looks absolutely phenomenal. This is the brand new SYNC 4 system. It obviously it's all touchscreen controlled, even down to the, auto, to the climate control. Uh, so you've got your heated front windscreen, obviously the Fords do have that. Uh, you've got the wing mirrors uh, to be able to be heated. Heated seats, it's a nice feature. I'm a bit cold at the moment to put mine on. 
uh, it gives you indication so that is one of the most, most amazing tech uh, that we've sort of done in, in quite a while in fairness user friendly so you've got the uh, satellite control systems there if you wanted to you can plug in your apple carplay and android auto to be able to use that some people do prefer to do that but you can see from the system that Ford have got, it's very user friendly and, and quite straightforward. Uh, Bluetooth, as you would imagine, in most vehicles nowadays, uh, and you've got some media controls up here. Obviously, you can listen to Radio One, um, but obviously, you can change that if you wanted to. But all in all, it's a really nice, sort of laid out, user friendly dash, as I've said before. Uh, moving on, uh, so the vehicle's got some drive modes, uh, so if you wanted to have a bit more control in the wet then you've got the ability to do that for you uh, sort of max heat there for you to be able to warm the vehicle up and of course we can then sort of display the camera system as well the 360 is phenomenal to be fair uh, so you've got the front camera which actually one displayed there for you well done we've got the 360 surround it gives you an indication of where uh, the vehicle is going as you're driving and then this feature actually got um, some navigator parking so you can sort of build in where you want to go so it's a lovely sort of layout um, Rotary style gearbox, again this is sort of something some new at Ford has started to do. So you've got the park reverse, neutral and drive. L would be for your uh, regenerative braking, so the vehicle can sort of demonstrate a, a one pedal drive motion. So you haven't got to worry about putting your foot onto the brake too much, but it will give you an indication of how the vehicle's driving. Uh, so that's quite an exciting feature and does save you some of the electric as well, so that's quite a good thing to, uh, to have on the vehicle. Moving on to the steering wheel, so we've got uh, it's a cruise control, um, which is adaptive, followed on by the speed limiter control. So you've then got on the menu controls for the centre dash, followed on by voice control. So forward sync voice control is a pretty good system. So once you pay your phone in, if you've got an Apple CarPlay phone, then you'll be able to uh, use Siri in the, in the van. So that's a good feature to have. On the centre dash here, so you've got sort of displaying how fast you'll be going. So you've got um, no engine control or regards to fuel, but it gives you an indication of how much power you're supplying to the vehicle and how much charge you actually have. So at the moment, this vehicle's working out, we've got about three quarters of charge of the battery left. So i.e. sort of three quarters of a tank of, of fuel if you were looking in the, uh, in the old terms of diesel. Sort of nice little layout and you've got the sort of power control here, sort of just showing you how the power is being distributed across the van at the same time. As I mentioned, when we're outside, we're talking about the interior rear view mirror. Interior mirror gives you a real life portrait behind you. You can also change the brightness if you wanted to and change the level of how the camera is situated, which gives you obviously based on how you are as a driver, you know, you're sat in your seat and also based on how you would like to see from behind. If you don't like that feature, obviously it's very new and very uh, sort of futuristic, you can of course turn it off. All front windscreen wipers on the side here for you. Moving on to the windscreen wipers, you've got the automatic headlight function here, and you can sort of turn it off if you wanted to, or have them displaying the whole time with your front and rear fogs. Electric wing mirrors, be able to adjust the angle of the, of the mirrors for you and be able to fold the mirrors in. New feature that the Transit's now got is the uh, electronic parking brake with automatic hold. That just shows how advanced this vehicle has got. Not only have we got the new technology of the all electric version, we've also got the new technology of the electric parking brake. So again, absolutely phenomenal 